Hello, dear viewers. Today I'm going to share with you an art form that's not only pleasing to the eye but also to the soul. Macrame. Yes, you heard it right, the ancient art of nodding is back and it's the talk of the town. But why, you ask? Because with macrame, you'll learn not just to tie knots but also to push the boundaries of patience and creativity. Let's unravel this knotty affair. Step 1. Gather your materials. First things first, let's gather our materials. You'll need macrame cords, scissors, a measuring tape, and a stick or ring for knotting. Remember, these materials are the canvas for your art. Step 2. Learn the basic knots. Knotting has never been this fun. Square knots, spiral knots, sliding knots. These are the ABCs of the macrame world. And don't worry, if your fingers don't get tangled, you're doing it right. Step 3. Plan your design. Now it's time to let your imagination speak. Are you making a wall hanging, a plant hanger, or a keychain? The sky's the limit, but remember, every knot tells a story. Step 4. Prepare your cord. Start by attaching the cord to the stick or ring. The length of the cord will vary depending on the size of the piece you're making. Be generous with the cord length, as there's no cutting corners here. Step 5. Start knotting. Begin knotting according to your design using the basic knots. Be patient during this process and make sure your knots are tight as loose knots can end like loose relationships, ending in disappointment. Step 6. Finish your product. Once all your knots are in place, trim any excess cord and give your product its final shape. You can add beads, feathers, or other decorations to personalize your creation. And voila! Here you have a macrame masterpiece that you've crafted with your own hands, each knot filled with effort and creativity. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos and like this one. Until next time, keep on knotting.